I would like to invite you to join me on my blog at hypnosisct.wordpress.com. And uh, there's uh, some posts about, uh, it's a new blog, so, but there's posts there about hypnosis and the process of hypnosis. And uh, <clears throat> there's some links there to some really good quality training stuff, etc., etc. I am a member of the ICBCH, which is the International Certification Board of Clinical Hypnotherapy. And uh, I am an active member, and, and there's links over there to uh, all of that stuff so you can find out a little bit about hypnosis uh, and the process of hypnosis. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the actual process <clears throat> of hypnosis, the actual session that you're going to do with your client. Now, hypnosis is, again, it's safe, it's natural, and it's effective. But your client has to be willing to... Uh, undergo hypnosis and your client also has to be willing to accept the suggestions that you're going to give to them. Now uh, we've talked about hypnosis being utilized by anybody. Anybody can hypnotize somebody with hypnosis. It's not a mystical magical process that the hypno uh, hypnotist has to uh, have this Svengali type of uh, mystical attribute to him. It's none of that. Uh, you can hypnotize anybody using hypnosis as long as your client is willing to, again, undergo the process and receive the uh, suggestions. Anything, I guess, is possible with hypnosis, again, with a willing subject. But hypnosis is more than just putting somebody in trance. Uh, it's, it's more than just bringing somebody into a state of hypnosis and then telling them to do something and they, and they do it. It's more than that. Hypnosis is a process. And uh, it, this is how the process works. Quite simply, you bring your client in. You're going to do the pre-talk. The pre-talk basically is building rapport with your client, finding out the underlying problems that your client is trying to resolve uh, with hypnosis, whatever it may be, smoking cessation, test anxiety, whatever the problem may be. And you're going to sit and you're going to listen. You're going to build rapport and you're going to listen to your client. Because later on, you're going to take in, when, when they're in trance, you're going to use the things that they're giving you to give them the positive reinforcement that uh, they're looking for. Again, hypnosis is positive reinforcement. You don't use negatives in hypnosis. It probably wouldn't work anyway. Don't know because I don't give negative uh, suggestions to my clients when they're in trance. Uh, hypnosis is a state of helping people through positive reinforcement using suggestions based on what your client is telling you. That's why the pre-talk and, and, and the first session with your, th with your client is so important with, with the process of hypnosis. So you're going to bring your client in, you're going to sit them down, you're going to do the pre-talk, you're going to debunk myths about hypnosis, you're going to uh, gain a little bit of uh, uh, rapport or, or, or trust with your client, and then you're going to induce hypnosis using... Uh, a. <laughs> There's so many different ways you can induce trance on your clients. Uh, there's the arm levitation induction. There's the reverse arm levitation induction. Eye f fixation induction. Uh, the progressive relaxation uh, inductions, progressive muscle relaxers. And, and, and there's just a, a wide variety of things that you can use. Now remember, during your pre-talk, you're going to be looking for things, uh, suggestibility clues. You can do a few suggestibility tests more on that later on, uh, but the bottom line is you're going to basically uh, use your induction method based on your client's suggestibility, uh, and then you're going to probably want to use a deepener. There's many different deepeners you can use, the staircase deepener, uh, which is really uh, a, a very effective deepener. Basically, you start them at 10 or 50 or 100 or whatever, and uh, each step they go down, they're going to, each number they go down, they're going to go deeper into the relaxation process. You can use fractionation, which is basically uh, bringing the individual in and then bringing them up to the next step and then come down deeper. Uh, a great example of that would be counting from 10, to nine, to eight, to seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, four, three. Basically, you're bringing them up and then down even deeper. Uh, that's fractionation. So you're going to use one of or a combination of uh, deepeners, depending on your client's needs. 
Uh, and then you're going to give the positive suggestions, positive reinforcement, based on what your client just told you. Really simple stuff here. One of my uh, teachers that I, uh, that, that I learned from basically said, keep it simple. There's no need to make this a, a long, drawn out process. Granted, your, your client, your, the, if your client is, is not familiar with hypnosis, you will probably spend a little more time in the induction and with deepeners. But once you reach the point where you're ready, where, where they're in trance, you will go ahead and, and give them positive reinforcements based on what they just told you during the pre-talk. And then what you would do is uh, you would go ahead and bring your client out uh, after you've gone through the scripts. Now you can find scripts anywhere on the internet uh, or anywhere. There are many books on, on scripts. You can find a script for any, basically any, uh, anything that you need to find a script for uh, using the hypnotic process. And then you would tailor that script to your client's needs. Um, chances are the scripts that you're going to find are, are generic scripts, but they're great. You can actually sit down and take a script and you can read it. Now a lot of, uh, a lot of therapists like to, or, or hypnotists if you will, like to uh, uh, memorize scripts and, and there's, that's fine too. But uh, for those that aren't familiar with or aren't really good at memorization, then you could probably, you, it's really easy, you could just write your script down uh, or tailor a script based on your client's needs and then uh, use that script. You can read it off of a piece of paper. The bottom line is they're there for you to help them and they don't care how you help them as long as you help them and you're ethical in the way you help them. We don't want to go out uh, doing any kind of unethical or unmoral acts with our clients. Now, uh, after you've given your suggestions, your positive reinforcements, then you're going to want to bring the client out. You may even want to give a post suggestion to rehypnosis, uh, where so is that the next time the individual comes in, they can allow themselves to go into that state quickly, calmly, safely, and easily, so that you can spend more time in the uh, hypnotic process than you would in the uh, in the actual pre-talk and, and, and report because your first session, that's what you're going to try to cover in your first session. Uh, your therapy, your, your sessions are probably going to last anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, most of that is going to be, your first sessions are going to be pre-talk and, and building rapport and the actual hypnotic session usually between 25-30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer depending on your client's needs. Remember, this is all about your client. This is all about helping your client. It's not about you. It's not about anybody or anything else. And the only way that we're going to have effective uh, therapy classes or hypnosis classes with your clients is to make sure that you put your client's needs first. That's above anything. So basically that's it. Pretty simple. You uh, do the pre-talk, building rapport, the induction, a deepener, your uh, positive reinforcement suggestion scripts, and awaken the client or bring the client out of trance. Remember your client is actually always awake, but uh, you're gonna bring your client out of the trance state and then they're going to, you're probably gonna to wanna to let them relax a few minutes. Most people like the hypnotic state because they're so relaxed. And you'll wanna just let them sit there and reorientate and, and relax a little bit. Maybe even have a little bit of a, a communication with them. How was it? What did you experience? Ask them a few questions about the sessions. And that's pretty much it. Plain and simple, cut and dry, hypnosis is quick, safe, and easy. Most importantly, it's natural. So, that's about all there is in this video. Remember, join us over at uh, hypnosisceht.wordpress.com and if you're really interested in learning hypnosis, uh, there's some really good educational classes that you can take for continuing education credit that is approved by the board, by the ICBCH, and uh, we look forward to seeing you over there. Make comments on the video, join us as a friend, and uh, thanks for watching.